A new security setting from Apple tonight, hoping to stop a specific and insidious new iPhone crime. Thieves trick people into exposing their iPhone passcodes, often late at night at bars, then steal their phones. With a passcode, they can change Apple ID passwords and face IDs so they can take lots and lots of money. I have heard from many victims that they said up to $10,000, $30,000. How many numbers? Six. Wall Street Where Journal tech reporter digits. Joanna Stern and uncovered the crime trend. We revealed that this was happening in multiple cities across the U.S., happening around the world as well, but definitely a uptick in these crimes happening in the U.S. right now. And Apple appears to have taken notice. The new stolen device protection setting restricts access with the phone's passcode, instead requiring face or touch ID for multiple settings, including Apple ID accounts and the iPhone's iCloud keychain, which many people use to store banking passwords. For some settings, when the phone is not in a usual location, like home or work, the user will need face or touch ID and then have to wait another hour to use biometrics again before getting access. It is a bit of a hassle, but is it worth it for more protection? If you had heard from as many victims as I had who have lost everything, then you would enable this security feature. So Stephanie is here. Does this fix the problem? Well, part of it, Lester. iPhone users should still be very protective of that passcode, ideally changing it to numbers and letters. And here's another really important thing. You know that notes app in your phone? Never put usernames and passwords there. Okay. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.